Oh my gosh, I can't believe this game came out the same year as Halo 2. Graphics are terrible. One out of five. No! No! Okay, to be fair, compared to most video games, Jack 3 is actually pretty solid. But as a follow-up to these two, well, it kinda sucks. Arrest him. Arrest him! At first glance, Jack 3 is just Jack 2 with more added onto it. More guns, more vehicles, more enemy types, more characters, more missions. Well, what's wrong with that? You see, what we have here is the banjo Tui effect. They added more to the game, sure, but they made it a less focused experience. The overwhelming mission variety creates an identity crisis. What kind of game is Jack 3? 1 and 2 are very clearly action platformers, but 3 feels more like a mini-game compilation. Don't you think that was a sign? Hello? Some missions you'll only do one time and never again. Just makes me wonder why they incorporated missions like that in the first place. You still have some decent platforming, but you also have dune buggies, turret missions, hang gliding, riding lizards, turret missions, driving this vehicle that controls like nothing else in the game, boring Pac-Man, turret missions, ride the runaway missile, am I forgetting any? Oh yeah, turret missions. Still giving us the crappy missions, huh? Platforming and fighting are both rarer and less fun than they are in 1 and 2. You have so many combat options that are equally effective. There's no unique combo chaining like stun with this weapon and do damage with this one like you'd see in Ratchet and Clank, or to give a more modern example, Doom Eternal. It's not fun to know I'll win any fight regardless of which weapon I use. The dynamic music is also missing. Remember how in the first two the music changed based on what was happening in-game? 3's soundtrack is static and bland. <laughs> It seems anything I do like about the game comes with a caveat. I like using Dark Jack now. You can turn it on and off at will, and it's actually useful in fights. But the game does very little with the light and dark abilities. Like this time slow ability changes up the nature of the platforming. But you'll only do this like twice overall. I like traveling back and forth between the city and the wasteland. You get the best of both worlds, hover cars and Mad Max world. But navigating Haven City loses its challenge without the GTA style chases. And driving the dune buggies is a nice change of pace, but once you make it through the initial missions, it feels like an afterthought with little depth behind it. Guess they were saving that for Jack X. I like that the precursor orbs are worth seeking out this time. They allow you to unlock new vehicles, damage upgrades, ammo capacity increases, but you can make it through the entire game without unlocking a single upgrade. They just serve to make the experience even easier. 1 and 2 were legitimately challenging and rewarding. 3 is challenging in a cheap way. It's more like a test of your willingness to put up with timers and fixed angles. Plus, 3 ditched the darker tone it's set in 2. What is Jack's personality here? I kinda like the angry edgelord from 2. It at least gave him some motivation. But now he's the guy who's the hero because his name's on the box? What kind of face is that? Where's my edgelord? I'm also confused who the bad guys are in Jack 3. At first, it's this guy Vinegar we've never heard of. It's also Marauders in the Wasteland, and the Metalheads are still around, and the Robots, and finally there's like these dark eco-aliens. Yeah, this game could have used a lot more focus. Nerd alert! Nerd alert! The final boss is laughable. In one, you fought this giant precursor mech. Two, the Metalhead leader that kind of looks like the Queen from Aliens, and now it's a mechanical giraffe neck controlled by a cyborg B-tier villain you raced in the last one? Wow. Overly complex and underwhelming. Deimos was Jack's dad? Okay, that's interesting, I guess. I mean, he was kind of a dick. Naughty Dog spent two years developing Jack 2, but only one for three. It shows. The silver lining is that Jack 3 presents the perfect reason to do a reimagining of the trilogy. They can fix all the things that are dated and don't make sense, take out all the turret sections, and refine the platformer gameplay that everyone knows and loves. Seriously, show all these chumps how to make a real action platformer, if you still can. And now, back to America's stupidest home videos. Hope I don't get hit.